Eid Salah, there's a lot of people who come for Eid Salah. So basically, if the Imam Sam makes a mistake, Imam Sam makes a mistake where Sajidah Sahwa is necessary. Where the Sajidah Sahwa is necessary. Fuqaha Ikram say, don't do the Sajidah Sahwa. Fuqaha Ikram say, don't do the Sajidah Sahwa. And it's amazing that Subhanallah, something which is wajib in normal Salah, five daily Salah, you will have to do the Sajidah Sahwa. If you don't do it, namaz is broken. But the scholars say, if it's Juma or Eden and there's a big group, and by doing, by doing the Sajidah Sahwa, it will confuse the people, then avoid the Sajidah Sahwa. So you have made a mistake in one of the wajibat. Even then, the scholars, subhanAllah, the fuqaha ikram are unanimous on this verdict that, okay, there's no need to do sajda sahwa. Just complete the namaz without the sajda sahwa. So instead of, like, for example, the sixth takbir is supposed to have done, you didn't do it or anything like that happened, that you forgot the tasbih, uh, takbirat, then obviously what you do is uh, just continue the namaz and there's no need to do sajda sahwa. This is the way the fuqaha ikram have mentioned. To this extent, for example, to perform, according to the Hanafi fiqh, to perform, Eid, uh, to perform the janazah salah inside the masjid is makru tahrimi. So, but if there's a problem outside, if there's a problem outside of uh, uh, car parking or because of causing inconvenience to the neighbors or because of rain or because of other things, then the scholars said you can read the namaz inside the masjid. So, it doesn't cause inconvenience. So, Shariat and Islam has looked at all these differences. Mm -hmm.